that's how you know you're a professional streamer, just FYI. When you have technical difficulties, it's because you've made your stream so cool, so complex, that you've got problems maintaining it. That is the measure of pro streamer. So we're a pro streamer, guys. 100% consummate professionals here. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> now I gotta change my passwords. <laughs> you laugh, but in the early days, that actually was one of my passwords. Blah, blah, blah. I had a string of numbers at the end of it, but yeah, that was that was one of my early passwords. Way back in the day. <laughs> when hackers did things magically through virtual reality. Oops, let's let's move Brewmaster out of the way here, guys. We don't want to we don't want to mess him up. I have him on board so that we can uh we can switch to him if by chance we finish up um this model today. I don't know that we will because we're gonna be doing a lot of hand brushing on this fur. We're not we're not doing simple dry brushing. We're gonna be you know picking out these hairs individually. We'll do some we'll do some initial dry brush, but then we'll be picking them out hair by hair kind of thing. So we probably will not finish this. But if we do, we have a Brewmaster 2 on board to, to work on. We did a little bit of work on him uh, uh, last night to try and kind of nail the booze effect on him. We had kind of been wishy-washy about how we wanted to do it. And uh, I kind of tried an experiment last night and I like the results of it. Hey McBluff, how are you doing? Hey Llama Llama Llama, how are you doing? Um, but you can see we kind of got the booze effects going on in him. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. I think that will work. Um, it's uh, basically that red brown and then some uh, orange brown and scruffless brown and a little bit of of um, yellow, uh, ice yellow mixed into that scruffless brown, and that's that's the mixture for it. And I, I think that's going to work. We're going to probably try that. We're probably going to do that on the other bottle as well as um, incorporate that into Shoujo when we get around to painting her. I'm pretty happy with that little boozy effect. Hey, Doug, welcome in. How are you doing? So you thought you were painting today? <laughs> I imagine with the the Kickstarter and stuff going on that you uh you kind of actually happy you're not painting today. <laughs> you probably have enough on your plate, right? Thought I was supposed to stream today, so I was running around getting ready to stream and then realized, oh, it's on his turn. Yeah. We should we should like set up a community uh, calendar. <laughs> that way we all know what, what page we're on. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. I mean, there's tools out there for us to use. We just got to get a consensus on which one and use it. <laughs> but I mean, it, it does help. I mean, when you got, when you got multiple people doing multiple things on a schedule and sometimes schedules get, you know, changed up due to holidays and stuff like that, definitely works out. Definitely works out. 
So we're still working around that Dubai Brown here. I think this is a good base coat for old Teddy. I'm not getting too close because this brush is crap. So we're, we're going to come back in with a better brush and, and get closer to the green. But for right now, we're just kind of blocking in the larger bits, yeah? Nearly jumped into the stream channel. <laughs> That would have been kind of funny. I wonder what it would have done if you had jumped into to VOD Ninja while I was in VOD Ninja. Would it have overloaded the system? Would we have created a paradox, a black hole? <laughs> it would have been interesting. Uh, give me y'all's ability to make art process entertaining because if I stream my art or did weird fan art or stream, it would just be me drawing the same line again. And again, again. Well, you know, um, I've seen, I've watched a lot of people do that on stream. They'll they'll do this line over and over, and that's where the that's where the commentary comes in place. Because you know, you see me, I'm sitting here, I'm painting the same color over and over in a spot. So you you have to you have to talk about things besides what you're doing um, in order to to keep the attention span. Because and it's not always easy. Um, attention spans are not what they used to be. <laughs> Doug didn't summon Waldo when you came. <laughs> what do you think it could be? That, that would be interesting to see if we could do that. Um, I mean, they, they've got... They've got a couple tools now for sharing uh, stream inputs. Um, I, I don't can't think of the name they call them offhand. Um but they've got a couple set up now. Uh, one of them, you have to have a verified account, which my, my account, believe it or not, as long as it's as old as it is, is not verified because I refuse to give Twitch my phone number. Um, but if I ever get it verified, then that, that one is open as well. But they're, they've got a lot of new tools now for sharing stream input, uh, which could be cool, especially for those of us that, that do stream for weird, we could get together either in, potentially in stream together here, uh, multi-streaming or on our, you know, personal streams on days that we're not painting, uh, with weird. Um, so we can kind of, you know, keep the family together, right? <laughs> Cause we're just a big, weird family. could have watched both yeah 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 that was yeah uh, i don't know if that's what would have worked or not but it would have been cool to see i mean uh weird how we would probably had to set up another input to capture the, the bot input from from uh doug but yeah it probably could have worked it had been like just having a, a a third camera you know for those those of us that have a palette camera or whatever um probably wouldn't have been any, any different than that A head to head, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that sounds like an interesting concept. Same miniature, head to head competition, three hours. Mm -hmm. Do I smell an interesting new stream coming up? <laughs> that would be cool, wouldn't it? Ah, very cool. <clears throat> I 
Got a really bad seam there line there. I should have probably cleaned that up a little bit better, but but I didn't. <laughs> I'm a little late now. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch to a little little tighter brush here and get up close to those little bits I was talking about closer to the Waldo skin. Uh, so weird hobbies, I, I want to let you know, I, I did go ahead and break down and uh, subject myself to brain itch. I finished up 1899 uh, last night. And yes, that last episode was holy crap. What the hell? <laughs> really good series. Um I'm not sure if we'll get a second season on Netflix. I'm hoping we will because it's still like in the number number two most watched, I think, for them. So it's doing well enough. It should stick around uh, for season two, but I'm not positive. That being said, um, supposedly, being a German uh, German directed series. They have laws in place that prevent them from only doing a single series or a single season. So I don't, it's like anti cliffhanger laws or some, something like that. Never heard about it, but my friend that's visited and spent time in Germany told me about it. So apparently, by law, they're required to have a second season. So while Netflix may not pay for it, we should be able to find it somewhere else. So. Kind of interesting. I've never heard that. Can't share the model with anyone yet because they're keeping it a secret until they hand it out to the 40 plus people who sign up for the contest. But I'm excited to see that many people painting something sculpted. Yeah, it sounds very interesting, man. We got the paint a little thin because we're kind of wanting it to run down in those uh, crevices without too much moving the brush around. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. The Is the store going to provide um, like outlets and stuff if people want to use uh, airbrushes and such. Or is it going to be all hand painting? Suppose for eight hours they can afford hand painting. You know, you have time to get around to doing things with that. But if you're in a 30 minute or hour long competition or whatever, airbrushes make it much easier. So I was happy I they uh they found some more vagrant song DC plushies. I was able to finally snag one. Um the second go round. <laughs> I was so upset I missed it the first round. They like, no. You know, I, I figured because it was basically Thanksgiving, you know, people were going to be, you know, doing Thanksgiving things. And I'd have plenty of time to get around to getting my order in. And came back Friday, you know, the day after, and he was sold out. I was like, oh, that sucks. But luckily they found some extras. 
your Black Friday showed up today. Uh, nice. Mine, mine came in yesterday, day before. I think it came in. I think it came in Monday. I could be wrong, but I think it was Monday. Oops, it's over there. I can't show it to you. But I'm excited because Mecha Mima. We will probably be painting her on stream one day. If not, we'll do the Rock Hopper, one of the two, um, on stream for next year. Is listed as becoming a man. It got delayed in post. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, you got to think. I, I have a I have a slight advantage that I'm only a hundred miles away from from home office, basically. Um. So most of the time, when they send me something, you know, like priority mail or whatever, it's basically overnight. So now, obviously, Black Friday, there's a lot more mailing traffic going on so things took a little bit longer i think but for the most part it's almost overnight almost everything they send me i get a notification and then the next day is it's in the mailbox waiting on me so it does it does pay to be local hey total glad you could make it how are you doing are you working for the man? Are you sneaking a stream? Because if so, that makes you that much cooler. Trying to get down in there. I know y'all probably can't see that little bit I'm painting on through the shadows and stuff, but we're just trying to get those little areas covered. Again, we're using pretty thin paint, so it kind of runs into the areas. Hopefully y'all are not hearing my cat doing the Langolier thing over there. <laughs> He's eating. <laughs> he sounds like a Langolier. Indeed, getting paid by the government to watch the stream right now. Fuck. Pardon me. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sorry. PG-13. That was my one. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. It just slipped right out. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I try and keep it PG around here. But sometimes... Sometimes the adult slips out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, hello, kitty cat. Here to get the stream back on track? Okay, good boy. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to pull in a little bit of this uh, Gulliman's Contrast here. And uh, I'm going to kind of roll it around the um, 
the bits of fur that are nearest to skin to kind of create a little bit of a shadow here. And the one thing this brush, the synthetic brush, doesn't really do good is it doesn't really do um, washes good because it doesn't have the absorbing properties of the natural hair. So it's really not that great at doing washes. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to pull a little bit around that tail there. On those toes. His toesy woesies. We're going to come back around this side here. Just working for like some contrast and a little bit of extra contrast here. I mean, there's a pretty good contrast between the green and the brown, but yeah, showing a little shadow underneath it, it's not going to hurt. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a little bit up here around the arm. Because, you know, there's going to be kind of like some seaming there, I guess. <laughs> it is kind of PG-13 with that pose. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you're pretty right. So we're already PG-13. Whoops. We went over the limit then. We got the Waldo sexiness and the F-bomb. Please don't censor us. <laughs> you saw weird at packs. Nice folks. Didn't catch anyone's name. Oh, okay. Well, glad you got to catch them. And yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't ask for nicer people. Everyone I've ever talk to there has just been an absolute dream <gasps> Ooh, we got very close to his hat, hat there we almost messed it, it up it his hat and uh, uh, horns, we almost boogered him up. Get a little seam there around the, the neck. We'll get some up around these ears. Up around here, around this nose. Ooh, a little too much. That's okay. Okay, I think that'll work there. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I seem to remember uh, when the head honcho was telling me that it was not a church stream. But at the same time, like I said, I, I know we have the potential for mixed age groups here. So I try and keep it, you know, uh, PG. 
like I said, it, it did slip, but I try, I try and keep it family friendly most of the time. Okay. Um, I was thinking we actually had a lot more shadow showing in his teeth, but we don't. So we're just going to come in here and start uh, working on them. We are going to use the forest skin as a base. Mainly because um, your shop T-bone is just a pain in the butt to work with. So we're going to use this foreskin. And we'll hit it with the wash as well. It's going to darken down probably as dark or more than the fur with the wash. But then we'll, we'll bring it back up to, you know, like dirty, dirty ivory for the tea. Did you buy any cool toys while you were at PAX? What did uh what did you get there? Total. So we'll kind of Kind of work it up a little bit like the horns, so we'll come up a little bit brighter than those, I think. Mm. Try to think what color we want to do as tongue. I mean, naturally, you'd think kind of pinky or purple or something like that. Um, I did my teddy. I don't think he's handy, but I did my teddy with a blue tongue. Um, so I'm thinking about, since he'll be in my army, doing the blue tongue. Or he's, you know, a miniature that goes with my my other miniatures. Um, doing it with the blue tongue so he matches a little bit better. Thoughts? You got one game called Heroes of Arcadia. Never heard of that one. Okay. That's all you could afford. Ow. <laughs> wow, that must have been a pricey little game. <clears throat> have you ever played... Uh, uh, what is it? House on Betrayal Hill, I think. That could be a lot of fun. It's it's a little on the pricier side too because there's a lot of uh, large cardboard tokens with it, and it's definitely fun. More fun with a lot of people, you know, at least at least three people, but preferably four uh, or more. Oh, it's a. <laughs> It's a drinking game. Okay. Probably explains why I've not heard it because I don't do many drinking games. We used to, back in the day when we are in the mini club, mini truck club, um, we'd have drinking games there. Uh, most of them are related to how often Billy talked about his truck being on the cover of mini trucking uh, magazine. Um, because his truck... Never, ever got any work done on it, so it was always just talk. But he'd say it at least, you know, a hundred times a weekend. So if, if you made it a drinking game, you were very likely to end up in the ER. We're going to work on it while that uh, wash and all dries. We're going to work on uh, and the teeth. Uh, we're going to work on the little bow that's around his neck because I totally forgot about that last time. See, it just kind of looks like a blob of green there. Well, that's because it's not supposed to be green. <laughs> it's supposed to be painted red. At least I think it is. If it isn't, it's going to be red now.
So uh, in addition to finishing uh, 1899 last night, I started watching uh, Guillermo de Tor Tor Tormo, however the heck you say his name, um, his Cabinet of Curiosities. And uh, some pretty good shows, a lot of high-powered stars in it. So if you if you uh, want to see some big names doing uh, standalone episodic episodes that are kind of like some mild horror, uh, body shock, whatever you want to call it, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, definitely look it up on Netflix. It's pretty good. The last one I watched last night was... Um, had Peter Peter Weller in it, and um, oh, what's that dude's name? Can't think of it. There are several big stars in it, but um, basically, this ultra rich dude had something to show. Wanted some people, some high end people's opinion on, and it was like this 1970s party. There was drugs and alcohol and everything as he's getting their minds prepared to see this thing. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's definitely good. That one with uh Peter Weller, you'll have to tell me what you think of that one. Second one in was the one with the uh, rats, I think. Which I can never remember the guy's name, the actor's name, but he played Rodney on uh, Stargate and Stargate Atlantis and literally plays the exact same character. You know, <laughs> he's just, he comes through, Rodney is, must be like his actual personality. Super smart, super afraid of everything. Um, just same character. Oh, man, that was a fantastic movie. Sad, but really, really well done. Yeah, yeah, Pan's Labyrinth. The, and the creature design was just amazing. Okay, this brighter red here. <laughs> Never born folktale like that. Yeah, there you go. Maybe he needs to write for Malifo. Imagine. I already have the creepy eyes creature that haunts. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> that would be interesting if you could get a big name like that to write a, write a story. Or two for uh, for um, Malifo lore. Sounds like we need a campaign for that. OK. 
Okay, got his little bow tie done. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> it'd be it'd be nuts. I agree. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna come back in with this um, Gilman's wash or Gilman's flash. I do not like how shiny it is. I didn't realize how how very shiny it was. Um, so we'll have to deal with that with a with a matte coat later. Cat, your hair should not be a part of my workbench. Yeah, they are very, very going to be very, very dark to start with, but we will, we'll bring it back up. Don't, don't worry, be happy. And I really, I really want to paint his tongue blue, but at the same time, if we got to take pictures of it, people may not understand why it's blue. So I guess we will go with kind of our, our standard pinky tongue. Ooh, wow, that needs way more shaking. <laughs> Yeah, that's actual paint now instead of just medium. Fantastic. <laughs> Why not? That's that's the the model name, right? For the one that you're talking about, the creepy eye creature. Old white eyes or something like that. What's the, uh, the dinosaur rar for? Not what everybody thought it was. When I said pink tongue, right? <laughs> it's a little on the purple side. It's okay. We work with it. We make it do what we want it to do. Don't want to get too or go too crazy on detail yet because we still got to do the teeth. And we very well may drag over one of those uh, bits of the tongue. So we're going to kind of leave, as I stick my finger in it, leave the tongue as is for the most part. We'll get a good coating on here and then we'll just pretty well stop until we get the teeth finished up. Oh, just getting paid to watch paint dry now. <laughs> hey, how many times have we driven by DOT, right? And there's one guy working and seven standing around like this sipping coffee. I see no difference.
at least this time, it's, it's a friend of mine that's getting to do it. <laughs> and not some rando. That's, I think that might be it. <laughs> that could be it. Only enough budget for one shovel and and rookie gets it. Makes sense. Check one thing. Oh, hey, Kitty Cat. Almost squished your head like grape. Yeah, you got in my way. Wow. Um... What cat? What kit cat? Where's my comms? I was trying to find my comms folder and just could not find it. Um, nightmare. There we go. Oh, I take that back, guys. <gasps> I was wrong. Teddy has a pink tongue and a blue ribbon. So since we can't see his chest, we can't see the little ribbon around his neck. So we're okay. The pink tongue was smart. We made the right call. Okay. Blue patch here. Red patch on leg. I'm uh, referencing the photo of, of the teddy that I painted. So that's why. I had to look that up real quick. We're still in frame. Are we still in frame? We're still in frame. Okay, where, where, oh, where is my blue paint? There we go. I'm going to start with a little dark Prussian blue. This is one of my favorite colors. I actually need to get a new one. I'm, I'm getting rather low on it. Um, I hate that this patch is so thin. I was hoping we might could do some freehand on it, but that's that would be a that would be a huge challenge to do the little paisley print on this thin a piece. We may try, we'll see. But it's an awful narrow little bit. For it to come off and, and read as paisley, I don't know if we'll be able to do that to do that. Okay, I think we're basically done with the old uh, wash of teeth. I think they're they're dry now, even though they appear shiny and like they're wet, but they're not. Wet. Coming back in with some of that um, forest skin. It's an interesting color, um, the way it works here, because we've got a reddish tint wash 
over a greenish tint paint. So guess what? We got kind of a brownish finish. Color theory and stuff. <laughs> yeah, McBuff, we got the cat today. He has um, been super duper extra needy lately. We we petted him for like 15 solid minutes while we're sitting here pre-stream. Thought that would uh, equate to him leaving us alone for a little while. Nah. The cat wants more. The more you give, the more the cat wants. Super duper extra sneezing. He's really not been sneezing a lot lately. Um, mainly because I've probably not been airbrushing much lately. Could be a corollary there. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of ivory to our previous mix. I really really need to quit airbrushing around the cat. I think that's part of his problem. Um, I mean, you think, you know, it gets to, to humans if, uh, if we do a lot of airbrushing, right? And, you know, they're a smaller, more sensitive creature, I guess, you know, more sensitive to changes. So surely, you know, airbrushing is going to affect them more. Uh, so, yeah. Not like I can get him a tiny respirator if I could, and I could make him wear it, I would, but. Coming in with some of this uh, mixed with a little bit of ivory now. A tiny cat for a cat would be adorable. Yeah, yeah, it'd probably be interesting. I, I would, uh, I'd definitely take pictures if I could get one and, and make it work for him. Make him wear it mainly. I imagine it'd be hard, as hard to get him to wear it as it is for me to wear one. <laughs> I got a little bit in my wash, daggummit, so we'll have to fix that up there. I was laughing and kind of a rush went. <laughs> Remember old pictures of cats wearing masks during. 1980, 18 Spanish flu. Really? Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. I had to post one in my, uh, in my, um, in my Discord. <laughs> That's crazy. Makes sense. I mean, you know, people love their pets. Sometimes people love their pets more than they love their their human children. <laughs> Sorry, Susie, you gotta go. But the cat, the cat gets gas mask. <laughs>
So we still got a little grime in there, right? Because these are, you know, ugly, dead, murderous teddy bear teeth, right? So they're going to be a little grimy. Um, but we're, we're bringing them up a little bit towards the wider end, right? Without losing too much of the griminess. This is almost pure ivory, but just a wee little bit of that khaki mixed in. I mean, just a tiny little bit. I think that'll work there pretty pretty good like teeth that haven't been brushed eating little children they shouldn't eat how old and stuffed <clears throat> okay, so what color? Oh, you know what? I didn't do his inner ears any different. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. Let's get in there. Color we want. Well, let's actually, you know what? Let's do them with a light tan. Okay, we can work with that. Mm. Let's see here. Still working on your big post-mortem poster working on Lady Justice right now. Very cool. Now, when you say post-mortem, are you... um? Doing a Nicodem Lady Justice? The, the iconic one? Because that would be pretty cool. I would not mind seeing the brand's cauldron store. Okay. Um, I'm unfamiliar with that. So, I can't comment on it, but if you want to fill me in a little bit, we'll be down with it. Okay. Oh, we don't want to do white. We want to do ivory. That's the one we're after. 
Okay. So um, we're going to work on the tongue a little bit. The, the tongue and the gums. The gummy gums. The gummy gum gums. It's the one where McMorning betrays the kill and goes full razor. Oh, okay. Nifty. Still don't know it, but it sounds cool. <laughs> you got to remember, I am 12 chapters into um, the Chronicles of Malifo. So I've basically gotten to where the Bayou have first been introduced. Okay. Perdita and crew or Perdita and family meet the Bayou. That's where I am in the lore. So I'm very, very newbie in Malifo lore. <laughs> it's actually got a long way to go, believe it or not. It's, it, you know, that's part of the reasons why I do um, base coats rather than finishing one area and moving on. Because when you do the base coats, you can kind of see where the project's heading. And it helps, it helps with attention spans. You know, if they see progress being made, it's easier to get people to stick around, right? So I tend to do all my base coats first so they can see where it's going. And then we work up one area at a time as able. Just it's, it's just my process. He's got some pretty pink lips, that not he? You're so pretty. <laughs> but hey, at least you're still with us. Government boss had not caught on yet. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come in here and work around this lip a little bit. Once it's finished, we're going to come in, and guess what? We're going to drop another wash. Yep. We like them washes. Um, so this time, we're going to work with a red wash. Might do purple on the lip, and the red wash on the tongue. Kind of tie them together, but not be exactly the same. Does that make sense? Uh, if I can find the washes I'm looking for, there's red, and we need a purple. Purple. Directors in meetings all day, and supervisor leaves at 3.30 p.m., just waiting for five. Nice! Nice! So we'll see you here the whole time, basically, right? All right, you're, you're central time, right? Mow, ow. Sorry about that, guys. My cat. My cat. Being a little vocal right now. Okay. Now... We're going to put red on the tongue. All right. And then I'm going to put purple on the gums or lips, whatever you want to call them.
You see how we kind of pulled a little bit from that purple or from the red wash? It's okay. If they blend a little bit, it's okay. We actually kind of wanted them to blend a wee little bit. Okay, we're going to let that dry. We're going to work on... Let's work on the bottle a little bit, shall we? Now, we're going to do... We're going to do a little bit of a pale blue. Now this is going to be... Mostly toward the upper part of the bottle. And... Not like that in there. We're going to work some other colors around on the sides. Yeah, just thinking, Doug, the only thing that would be difficult for us in a stream together is how the two of us are not going to talk over each other constantly. <laughs> that would be the problem. <laughs> push the talk uh yeah that that could potentially possibly save some of it but i don't know how it, it'd save it all So what we're doing now is we're basically filling in the wine for the bottle, the, the base coat for the wine. It looks like that label goes all the way around, doesn't it? Or almost halfway around. There we go. I see the lip of it now. That's convenient. Fifty-five minutes to go. Okay, you are going to be out of here. Then you're on Eastern, so you're going to be out of here before I finish. For some reason, I was thinking you were Central, which case you would uh, you would actually see the end of the stream because we go to six. Um, but since you're Eastern, you'll be cutting out an hour before we're done. That's cool. Still though, glad you're getting to watch. I mean, I haven't been doing my personal stream, so at least you can catch me here.
Okay. That's not quite dry over there yet, so we'll just come on around. Work on this some more. keep hitting that tip of that tongue with my thumb the good thing is most of the wash doesn't need to be there anyway so it's a good thing all right so let's move around here get a little bit of this uh, uh b -b 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 fenrisian gray here and where is Nope, that is definitely not what I want. Uh, Dark Reaper, where are you at? Here we are. So this is going to be the back of the bottle color here. Um, this is Dark Reaper. Got a little bit of wine color in there. When it's on the table, it's just a teeny bit out of focus, and it looks like some kind of weird pizza cookie. <laughs> Not kind of want to eat, but kind of. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Never thought about that. We'll mix a little bit of those two together, Dark Reaper and Dark Finrisian. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the same thing over here, too. Get that around the edge here to find that little lip on the bottom. And this is probably going to be cork colored, so we won't have to do much there, but just in case we'll define it too. We do need to level that wine out a bit, don't we? Um, do we want it higher? I think we're going to want it lower. I mean... But let's get it leveled out now. As best we can. The 
this is kind of the tricky part, maintaining that um, the illusion of the fluid in there. I guess think, just think we gotta we gotta work on blending this too. So it's not just the bottle portion, but the wine portion as well. That's reads is pretty level there. Okay. Now we can go back to focusing on the bottle. Uh, here we go. So, that's been easy in here. And we'll pull back in some of that pale gray, or pale blue, sorry. Probably should mix a little bit of that with the Fenrisian. I think we'll do that too. Yeah. That makes it better. Mo better. Mo better indeed. Then we'll um, come in with a little bit of uh, pale blue by itself. Kind of work down the center portion here. this and hold my mouth right if you see that tongue sticking out that's what I'm doing you can hold your mouth just right to do this okay that little bit of a, a ridge really came back and hurt me there so we're gonna have to see if we can fix that up a little bit because it flowed right into the wine cup where I didn't want it Should have thought to pull up a wine label or grabbed a bottle of wine from the, the kitchen with a label on it. See, something to work with here. We have the magic of Google, we can do something. Getting that cork painted in now. I 
Need a little, a new little wipe off towel. But you don't have one. So we're going to come in with a little bit of that Fenrisian gray and a little pale blue mix. We're just going to cut a line in there. And maybe a tiny little line right there. Just add some more depth and illusion of that, uh, that bottle working there. Okay, now we'll get a little bit of pure white. I see what you mean, Llama. How about the, the weird pizza cookie thing? Experimental pizza cookie. <laughs> That's a little strange. I would have never thought of that until you mentioned it. Okay, we got a little kind of reflective line there. It's a little crooked, but I think that's fine. It kind of sells the sells the illusion, right? Come back in with a little more Fenrisian blending over here. I like to kind of Sift around a little too fast. Now, if I really want it to be tricky, and it would not be that easy to pull off, but if I really want it to be tricky, I would bring some greens into this bottle as reflections of, you know, or, or pass-throughs of his body color shining through this bottle. We're not going to get that tricky. But if you were really going for some high-end re realism. Yeah, you probably want his uh, his skin reflecting through this bottle a little bit. I don't even know how I'd pull it off, but that's that would be the way you do it. We'll do it with that that uh, glass there and the label because those two are together. We can probably blend that brown label right into the blues and it will look like we're getting a little bit of the label through the glass. See what I mean? Uh, total, there's so much more to do. It's not just, not model's not even close to done. We can do so much more.
color on the side of our glass here. I don't know. I don't know. I really like that brown coming through or the tan coming through. I'm just going to slide that right on out. Well, folks, been given the word that I can go home early. Oh, so don't call us because we won't be here. <laughs> All right, Total. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day off. Um, we will see you soon, hopefully. Now, I don't want to get too crazy with the glass because, you know why? Because we're going to be doing the wine and the label, and we'll very likely draw over part of the glass while we're doing that. So let's go ahead and get around to doing that, that wine portion. I'll take a sip of drink, though, first. <clears throat> Such a fun little model. So much going on in it. And it's, you know, you know, relatively simple model. All I've done is added a little bit of uh, ivory to our wine color. Can't really get down there too well. That's about as good as we're going to get. Pow. And that's a little too high. We don't want to quite go there yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we might have gotten too light with this uh this wine. So what we can do is we can lighten it up even more and then come back in with like a, a red uh, wash or overtone or something. To bring it back or even a purple.
Okay. So it looks rather pinky and chalky right now. Just kind of experimenting with it a little bit. So now we're going to come back in and hit it with a um, hit it with a wash. We've um, we've already got some red wash here, so we're going to use that. <laughs> yes, I was ringing. Sorry about that. Broke the immersion. Sorry about it. And see. We pulled it back toward the red side a bit here. Let me see who dares interfere with my day. Okay. That's okay. New follower. I'll take that one. <laughs> That's not a bad one. I can I can live with that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to kind of work on this label a little bit. Pulling some uh, darker edges on. there because it is in kind of the shadow here or in the more dark side of it <laughs> no red washes no one am putting it on a bottle you what make you think I would do that? Photos basically where he's gonna he's he's done it at this point. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm a little off screen there. I'm doing what I said I wouldn't do, and that is mixing paints with my well, one good brush, so I'm, I need to back off on doing that. Getting a little bit of the, the lightness in that label there. And we'll 
sketch it back in over here. And a little bit over here. Okay. I'm going to get just a little bit lighter here for this label. Come back in with a, a little bit more red here. Try to ease that transition a little bit. Okay, sorry, I'm getting kind of quiet with uh, with working on that. We'll see if we can pick it back up here. Well, our tongue and stuff is dry. I want to go ahead and kind of finish this bottle up a little bit, or at least get it close to finished. I don't know. I feel like I should almost have the the reflection on this side since that's his face. But with the label being over here, I think the point of interest needs to be there. Um, all right. So almost done with that bottle. Let's get one little bit here on the cork. And then we'll work on this glass here. Actually, we should probably do the label. Let's do the label. What do we want to do? We'll just do it. Uh, we could do it something really simple. Just freehand wine O on it. And like triple X or something. Like they do for booze jars or is it double X? I can't. I can't remember. I don't mean it like the movies. I mean like. Seems like the booze symbol is is three X's, I think. All right, let me get our our big bug glasses on. Absolutely found a chronicle story during lunch where three tanuki in a trench coat <laughs> a monastery only to be interrupted by three gremlins in a trench coat doing the same thing. No kidding. That's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> That's fantastic.
it's, we're kind of cooking up, aren't we? We're tilting up. Okay, not the greatest, but that'll do. Hey, Panda, how you doing? Wow, okay. That just did not want to draw at all. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Mama. That's what I thought. I thought it was I thought there was the three X's on it, so yeah. like a nutrition status over here may cause blindness birth defects etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah <laughs> Get it up for that brush. It gets some pretty fine detailing, but you got to watch that tip curl. Um, I need to eventually get around to fixing it, but for right now, I got the word wine in there really nicely. I could have probably done a little bit better myself, but that was more me not being able to do it than the brush. Like I couldn't hold my hand steady to do it. So we won't blame that on the brush. That was just me. That and, you know, going crooked up the side. Was definitely me. <laughs> so now we're going to work on this glass here. Now we're going to kind of cut this. This is going to have a sharp transition on this side. And a milder one over on this side.
We're just kind of working around there at the base of the glass. It is a little bit in the fur, so we're, we're okay if we fuge the lines a little bit. Get into that pale blue. And then white itself. Right, cool. We'll get a little bit of white there on that base as well. Let me tip that brush. Here, so. here we go. I got those bottles there done. So I'll do that one in his hand. I'm not gonna worry about that right this moment. I'm gonna come in here and bring a little bit of extra contrast somewhere that needs it. go up around that berry there that leaf there I think that gets a little, pops a little bit more on those uh little leather wraps still not great but it's better than it was Okay, so now we're going to come back to our, our um, tongue. This is something that's been sitting for a bit. So we're going to come in here, start working this tongue up a little bit. We have uh, mixed a little ivory in with our Warlord Purple.
kind of wrap it around best we can. Get a little bit of the original there. Back in this way. See how we're bringing it a little bit more up toward the pink by adding that ivory. And then we'll be bringing the, the lips up to a little bit more or down a little bit more toward this color. At least that's the idea. We're just going to play, bring them back and forth a little bit and show them where we want them. bit more ivory pulled in. Sorry, I've got to kind of brace it as best I can. I know that wasn't quite in focus, but he had to do it. All right. A little bit more white, or ivory, I mean. Just more or less edging right now. Put a little bit of that right in here as well. Okay. We're still on camera there. Okay, that's about where I want the tongue. a little bit. So we're kind of getting a little striation to the, the lip.
and then we'll get a little bit more wine in there. Not sure if I'll like that that much, but we'll see how it comes together in the final picture. We did definitely had a little bleed off of the tongue onto those teeth. We'll see if we can get a little correction there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, do you need to do some... something for the eye here. So we're going to come in with a little bit of dark Prussian blue. My other one actually had black like buttons for eyes, but I think we need something a little bit brighter. So we're going to do the blue this time. Actually, I don't know why we're gonna we're not gonna go pale blue. We'll go more turquoise. -y. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Do a little thousand suns blue on top of that, and then we'll go for some uh, Adriatic blue from scale. Maybe just a touch of white. We can get a little, little dot of white up there. That'd be good. There we go. Okay. Black nose, some blue black highlights. We got that blue over on the other side, did we? This may undo all my previous work, but we're going to try and get it in there. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Some of that um, 
Um, Dark Reaper Blue, sorry. Or Dark Reaper, just Dark Reaper, not Dark Reaper Blue. Put this on the top of the nose. And on that little know, septum, the little division in the nose. A little bit of that makes with some Fenrisian there. More Fenrisian right up on top. Just a little bit on those um, to define the nostrils just a wee little bit. Can I blend that back in just a little? Too crazy there, didn't I? That black. That's okay. Bring that definition back a little bit. Without getting too bright, we're we're way too bright for a black nose. Kind of off screen. Sorry about that, guys. There. I think that's a little bit more like a quote black button nose, right? Okay. Now we got some furs to do. Fur, 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 fur. Fur, 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 fur. So first thing we're gonna come come back over those areas we did um we did the uh, wash on back with the uh Dubai Brown. Just to bring the top hairs back to what the base color is. Going to be around the face and all those joints. This isn't really dry brushing per se. This is more like a I guess you'd call it overbrushing.
that shininess is really throwing me from the wash. <laughs> we'll have to, uh, as soon as we can, mat this down. It will make me a lot happier. Okay. Gonna have to do some teddy bear claws too. Teddy bear claws. Not C L A W S, but C L A U S. Yeah, teddy bear claws. <laughs> All right. Um, so my mind is being weird right now. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. We're going to get this brown knocked in real quick, the original brown color, back on the high fur pieces. Higher four pieces. You get it, whatever. And then we're going to start doing some of the other colors, the other fur tones. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to take and blend. Like we've done before um, a little bit of our ivory in with that original color and we're just going to bring each little section of hair up a little bit that's the idea anyways see how one to one looks actually one to one's pretty good that's where we'll start. So this is uh, one part ivory. And uh, one part um, two by brown. Like so it's kind of like a dry brush, but we're not really drying a brush off. We're not getting that chalkiness. Um, we're more or less just kind of dragging a wet brush over the um, the raised portion. So it is kind of like a dry brush, but it's not going to give a dry brush finish. And then once these are done, we'll come in with a lighter color and just touch the tip of each of these hairs individually and that should give us a pretty pretty decent little um, look when we're done Now, some of these we'll actually have to kind of fudge a look on because 
like the side hairs are not very well done. They're pretty flat. So we'll be kind of drawing those in by hand. These on the side of his face in particular, they're pretty, pretty mushy. Probably could have gone just a touch lighter on this highlight color. But I think once we get the other one on there, it'll be fine. Here we're coming up on the two hour mark or a little over two hour. I think we're doing pretty good. I said, I don't think we'll have to worry about working on another model. I think we're we'll probably finish this one or come very close to finishing it, but we won't get done in time to do another model or work on another model. So timing was pretty good. Getting his little football tail. because we can't really get in there with the side of the brush, right? So who's seen Wednesday? I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought it would. I figured it was just going to be cheesy, campy, whatever. But it was definitely a lot better than that. Kind of reminiscent of uh, the Netflix Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which is probably what they were going for. And that, you know, there was, it was definitely a more grown up version of the Adams family. Um, 
yeah, still maintain the funness. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Kept me guessing on the uh, the monster until the very end. You want to watch it soon? You should. Definitely should. Um, because spoilers are going to be hard to avoid if you don't. <laughs> Good thing is they have uh, they've already greenlit season two for it, so that tells you how good it was when it's barely been out a week. You know, well, I guess it's been out a, a week or two, um, but for it to already be greenlit for season two, that's pretty good. the 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 casting was really good. A lot of people have bagged on Gomez's casting. And I get it. Raul Julia is kind of hard to replace, right? Um, but if you look at the cartoons, the cartoon Adam family, this dude is a dead ringer for him. You know, he was basically an ovoid head and a round body. And he had that crooked kind of ugly tooth thing going on, the cartoon version. And this guy is absolutely perfect. I mean, he fits the cartoon version perfectly. Um, and apparently that's what Tim Burton wanted. He wanted to do the cartoon version. So casting, fantastic. Absolutely great. Fester, super. Loved Fester. Okay, so now we're going to work on our next color. I think we're going to go with one drop of this and two drops of ivory. So we're going to do one Dubai into ivory the fact i only needed one drop of dubai to that uh ivory is pretty impressive that tells you there's a lot of brown pigment in it for it to overwrite the white as well as it did usually when you put a, a very light color like ivory or white in to a brown, it either goes really, really pinky red, or it goes to ivory to the point where you had to put like four drops of the brown to one drop of the white. And this one was a 50-50 mix and was our first highlight perfectly. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, and then we're coming in with that lighter color. I think we may do one more color. We'll see how this works out. Sorry, I was holding my breath a little too much there, guys. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was. Definitely not something you want to do when you're painting. Holding breath is actually really bad for you. Not not like bad health-wise, but like bad for your painting to do. Um, kind of like, I think, holding your breath while you're trying to uh, squeeze trigger on a gun. Um not supposed to hold your breath. I don't know why it is, but it definitely seems to throw you off. Um, 
there are sometimes you really need to like on a really really fine detail like when i was uh free handing the word wine yeah sometimes you just gotta hold your hold your breath for that but most of the times it's actually better if you don't you um tend to paint a little better a little more control So this is definitely a, a do as they say, don't do as I do thing with that. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, not breathing entirely, definitely bad for your health. But, <laughs> you know, for the short periods of time where we hold it when we're, we're, we're doing art, it can be uh, it can be bad, too. Okay, catching the tops of those ears there. Oh, okay, okay. See, they even have a process for it. Alrighty. Yeah, that, that's what I've heard. I just, I don't, I don't really do it. And I'm pursuing the time. I'm usually pretty well. Um, pretty well. Grounded, established, fixed. Um, the way I hold my hands. They're generally locked together in a tripod formation. Either um, my hand is braced on the desk itself to hold it steady with the miniature, and my other hand is braced on the on the model. Or I've got um, this area here on both elbows on the desk because if you go too far back, you hit the nerve here. Um, but right there, both of those areas on the desk, two points. And then together here, three points. Um, so I keep I keep my model pretty steady. So the breathing thing is not as big a deal for me. Um, but yeah, always something important to mention. That and keep your cat off your desk, because otherwise you get end up with cat hairs in your brushes. <laughs> That did not go where I wanted it to. <laughs> 
watery. Yep, yep, the steady, uh, steady hand method works very well. Okay, um, let us get a little bit more. I'm going to put a bit of ivory in that mix we've already got. That should get us where I want to go. This is going to be like for just the top hairs on ears. Crown of the head and stuff. those eyebrows Okay. I'm definitely going to do some up here around the nose. Cheeks. An old teddy boy here because we really want these to stand out a little bit more. Oh, cats knock something over. Go. Getting old Teddy's fur down, folks. It's getting there. Then, uh, then we'll just have to finish up those patches and uh, the wine glass. That's in uh, Dodo uh, Waldo's hand. Yeah. So we're actually getting per, per, pretty close.
Now, if you were not using this model for the uh, the scenario, would you use them as a Teddy alternate? Or who would you use them as if not Teddy? I think that's what I'm, I'm more interested in. If you're using this as a proxy model for another weird model, and you've weren't using it as a teddy, who would you use it as? And, you know, consider you could change the base size if you needed to or whatever. But who would you use it in place of? Okay. I think there's a couple places I should probably kind of like smooth that um that wash out. Really D line a big D uh, uh, a line made a watermark. That's what I was looking for. Our tidal pool, not on a watermark. God, what is wrong with my words today? Let's get some a little bit of shading here on this uh, red. We'll come in with a little the brighter red here. Build it up just a wee bit here. No, no, uh, no thoughts on alternate model then. Okay, 
So that's basically got that red done. Get some stitching done around it. Hmm, our white has already dried up. Just about. Actually, you know what? Let's do the pale blue. Then we can do some white. Probably not super duper in focus right now because I was on the ground. So apologies for that. And there we go. There's our stitches for it. mixed in there come on here we go that's about what I want right there Sadly, not plating tabletop game. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I think if McBluff were here, they'd probably have an idea. Or Llama, or uh, Weird. I bet they'd have an idea. Our key fluff and game experts are not on at the moment. Are not attentive at the moment. <laughs> Should have asked it earlier when we had so many people in here talking about it. <laughs> that had been the smart thing to do. I notice I've got a really bad line here in the in this uh, glass. We'll have to work on that a little bit, but it may be something we do after the fact. Okay, I'm going to come in here and do his claws real quick. Just going to put a little black on them. And we'll work those up in a little bit if we get a chance. Otherwise, we'll just we'll leave them black for right now. Do I want to do three or do I want to do four? I think so. It seems like he was he has 
he has four. So we'll do the fourth one here. Kind of hard to see it. It almost looks like fur rather than claw. So we may be kind of fudging it, but that's okay. Fudging is 100% allowed in Malifaux. I mean, you know, when you're talking about painting a model. Not so much with measurements and stuff. Yes, please do not go to a tournament and say, yeah, fudging is allowed. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> well, Haunted says we can just fudge the numbers. No, no, I didn't. I don't know if do that. It almost looks like he's got five calls in this one. Uh, we'll just do. We'll skip one. We we'll go. <laughs> Okay, we're going to um, clean our brush really good because black is hard to get out. And we'll go back to uh, stitching on that little blue piece. And we forgot we did white, not pale blue. So let's go back to that. Pale blue. And we may be able to stream again on the 21st. Uh, weird how he mentioned it to me earlier. So if that's the case, and we don't finish this guy up, we can potentially work on him early and finish up a little bit and then start on something new. Or we can just start on something new entirely, whichever you folks want to see. Because he won't need a whole lot regardless. I mean, if we if we don't finish him today, it's only going to be a little bit left on him. I was thinking if we uh, start a new model, we'll probably um, do Shoto. Um, or we could work on the Iconic uh, Dreamer. That could be another one. We could do that. Go on Iconic Dreamer. There's all sorts of models we got, but there we have so much here to work on. 
<laughs> so much to work on. Okay. Uh, I'm still not sure if I want to do the free hand on this. It's just, it's not a much area, and I'm definitely not doing it on that one. Um, but let's tidy up that glass. Over here. Actually, it, it is just a line I'm seeing. It's, it's the mold line. I can't help that. So let's get over here and finish this glass up. And then uh, do a little work on the claws if we have time, and it'll be done. Yeah. Cool. So a little hydrations. Wow. Okay, that color is just dead to me. It's not working now. Why is it so watered down? Again, we got that huge old mold line here on the side. It's going to make we're blending this really hard to get to. We're going to try. We're going to try to do our best. So we're seeing we're just painting the glass um, or the cup of the glass, the wine color for right now. And then we're going to come down here and paint the stem with the uh, the dark reef. We're going to work on that real quick. And then we'll work on the leveling of the glass. reason for that is we're going to have the glass kind of, it's tilted. So there's going to be fluid in it, but it's going to be fluid at an angle. So we'll have to work on that a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to come in with a little bit of that Venresian gray and some Dark Reaper, and we're going to start working up the base a little bit. A little bit here. Okay, now we're going to get into a little Fenrising Gray by itself. We're marking the stem a little bit better. And a little bit more 
on the, the base. Okay, and then we'll head into the uh, the pale blue. I'm gonna have to really work on keeping my uh, my wet palette actually wet as so I'm drying out. Bad way today. The heat has been running a little more than normal, so that's part of it. I've really been considering getting a a humidifier for down here. Though so typically basements don't need humidifiers, but <laughs> I feel like this one could benefit from it just from the to keep it from being so dry when the heat's on upstairs all the time. I think that's pretty good there. Now we're going to work on leveling that cup off. We are getting down to the nitty gritty guys. We got about nine minutes left. Part on. I think I'm just going to get myself a little bit more of the thing. Winter is definitely drier. That is for sure. Well, oh, oh if you step outside, it's not. It's nothing but rain, rain, and more rain um, right now. But inside is definitely always drier during the winter. So, yeah. So, we're trying to mark off our line here. I don't want it pouring out the back of the glass, right? We want it to come up basically to the rim in the back. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just generally been one of those years. Just rain, 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 rain. I don't mind rain when it's not cold and rainy. Right? Cold and rainy just, ugh. Well, anybody that's got any sort of joint problem or chronic pain or anything like that, you gotta know what cold and wet weather does to you. It just intensifies all the yuck. <laughs> now we're going to drop a little bit down in there. Because it's going to be up close to the top. Okay. So we've got our marking done. Now we'll start bringing in some highlights on that clock. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, bad neck, bad back, bad knees. And I know Weird Hobbies has issues with it as well. So to all us old and busted up people, toast. <laughs> <clears throat> Anxiously look forward to the day that we can transfer our consciousness into an android body. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Even the cat's down with that. Like, yeah, I'll be an android cat. I'm down. <laughs> uh, okay, we are almost done with this, guys. And as you can see, Weird Hobbies has dropped my link there. That is a Willow link to all my social medias and stuff. So if you would, please 
hit that up, follow, like, subscribe as necessary. It's all free. Don't cost you nothing. Be a lot cooler if you did. We're going to try and finish this glass up so we can say Waldo's done. Even though he's not technically, but he's very close to being done. I mean, just the wine glass and the claws pretty much is all that's left. So he may as well be done. Right, folks? I think so. <laughs> and don't you want to be cool? Exactly. Exactly. Cool. Viewers need to be cooler. Want to be cooler. You know you want to be cooler. I don't know about you guys, but in high school, I was definitely not a cool person. So I want to be a cool person now. <laughs> no, actually, I was I was fairly cool. I mean, despite being a geek, I was kind of like the king of the geeks. So I was kind of cool in my own respect. I was first year player in band. I ran the D and D club. I mean, I was kind of a cool person for the geeky people. Ended up dating one of the cheerleaders in high school. That, that, you know, worked out for me, socially anyways. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we just about dropped him. That would have been yucko. That would have sucked. I think we need just a little bit more transition here. You like being lame? Okay, okay. We got a dissenter here, folks. He wants to be lame. <laughs> I was lame before it was mainstream. <laughs> uh. We're almost there. Three minutes, folks. Let's see if we can get this class done. We still got to do his fingers and stuff, so we won't be finishing him. But we got real, real dang close. I'm not unhappy with myself. So, yeah. Pretty good showing there. I was lame when it was because of the Eagle Square. Oh, wow. You're dating yourself there, my friend. I mean, that was even, that was even after, uh, before my time. <laughs> you sure? Uh, that, was, that was like my parents' time. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's going to wrap us up here in just a second. Didn't quite finish what I wanted to get done. We almost did, though. We got his, uh, got him mostly done. We just got to do a little bit on the hands, tidy that glass up a smidge more. Um, pretty happy with it, though, folks. We got a good bit done today. Waldo is basically done. 
chillaxing on his teddy rug bear. And uh, yeah, got the little wine bottle that says wine on it. Because <laughs> you know Waldo's drinking the classy shit, right? <laughs> so anyways, we got it mostly done. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, shall be back next week with uh, Doug Arino and Virick, I believe, and then possibly the week after with me and Eleanor. I'm not sure. So, um, again, thank you all for hanging out. If you would, check out the social links and like and do all that good stuff. And uh, until we see each other again, stay weird, be safe, Happy holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever else out there there is. Till then, see you guys later.